hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see how you can use radio list style in flutter so let's start with our demo app so as you can see here we have our demo app where i have just a column inside our body so what we can do is we can simply take a radio list style let's take a radio list style okay so now as you can see we have these three values which radio list style asks so one is value group value and on changed so let's do one thing what we can do is let's create an enum let's say we have my options okay so these are my options and let's say we have our option one option two okay so now what we can do is we can simply create an object of our my options okay which will be let's say my options equal to let's say if we want to have this radio list style as a selected from the beginning so for the my option we'll have our my option as my option one okay so this is our my option one so now what we can do with the value we have to give the value of my options dot let's say option one okay and for the group value it will be our my options which is this and in the on change we'll get that value okay so let's just save the app so as you can see now we have this uh, sort of a radio list style but before that we'll give it a title it has a title property where you can give it a text let's give it a text let's say our title one or option one okay so let's just save the app so here we have the title so let's create one more radio list style okay so now we have another radio list style so now what we can do is as you can see these both radio list styles are selected so what we can do is we can simply let's first change the title to our title 2 and this is our option number 2 and let's change it to option 2 and let, let's just sell the app okay so now as you can see our first by default my app shown radio list style is selected and the second one is not selected so as you can see i'm clicking them but nothing is happening okay so now what we can do is you can simply use our set state and for the my option you can set that live option okay and make it a not null same with the case of another radio list style use set state to set your my options value to the value that you have selected okay so let's just save the app now okay so now as you can see our basic app is ready so now we'll just try clicking on the second option and our second option is selected now our first option is selected okay so with this we have many few properties such as let's say you want to change the color of this so we have the property called active color let's give it a colors of red okay similarly here also we have to give the active color property to colors dot red okay so let's just save the app now so now as you can see we have this red color for our radio so let's change and now here also we have the red color we have another few properties that you can use such as you have the tile color option you can give it a colors of let's say yellow and you can also change this color if this style is selected with the selected tile color property let's say colors dot let's say green okay so let's just save the app so now we have this our tile with the yellow background color and now once i have been selected it is yellow but it is not changing it to green okay so it is because it is not null and it is not selected okay so now what you can do is we can simply comment this style color 
okay we'll comment this style color okay let's just save the app so now when i'm selecting it the color is not there okay so let's see what is happening defines the background color when radio style is selected is true we have other options as well for example content padding okay so what we can do let's just refresh the app now and now let's say we have our second option selected and first option selected okay so this is the basics of radio list style hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video